was that um, Australia, US, uh, you know, UK, somewhere in the region of 20% of people had something in their mailing pack that had an incentive in there, some type of uh, gift, uh, whether it was stickers or, or badges. Um, you can give, give, see some examples here. In SBCC, it was the green dot, RMI, it's the address label, save the children bookmarks and address labels. The Red Cross pack, I don't know how many people know the Red Cross Humanity Rose pack, which has got loads of stuff in it. It has greeting cards, notepads, stickers, badges, pens. And if you speak to anyone from the Red Cross, they say the more stuff they put in that pack, the better the response rates. Um, Crook, it's the pink ribbon. But it, you know, in America was when we really started to get really groovy, as they call them out there, um, freemiums. Um, <coughs> we've got some examples here of some of the involvement devices that, that, that people were using. Some were quite sweet. This is St. Jude's, um, and, uh, which is an organisation that, that helps uh, children with cancer. And um, they gave you like a, a Mother's Day card that you could sign something on and send back to a mum whose child was uh, having treatment um, in, in the hospital. Um, what was quite interesting was how they, they did more things with the donation forms other than just give us money. This, this is the whole donation form here. And the, as well as giving a gift, it's you know, sign, this, sign, this, it's sign this key. And we've got that back here, an opportunity to ask for a prayer request. You know, if you're giving a gift and you want to pray for someone, um, then you can, uh, 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 you can ask, for it, um, ask for it there. Um, and tangible, one of the things that we've done loads of are um, almost like coupons, like food coupons. You would give a gift, and what you could do is you actually had these, these coupon-type devices um, or vouchers that I suppose if you, you know, if, if, if you are deciding to sort of like put aside your a certain level of disbelief, you might feel might actually be handed over to somebody. Um, so they're really trying to make that gift tangible and give you the idea of you are helping one person, which obviously we know from uh, you know, all our DN testing uh, significantly uplifts um, response rates. Some things were just quite sweet they sent out. This was from um, World Vision. Was it that World Vision Canada? Yeah. Um, and it was this little activity book uh, for children. Um, nothing particularly to do with the, the work, but um, look at things that the children could do. What flowers can you find in your garden? What animals can you, um, can you see? But um, very few, um, oh, sorry, uh, but Oxfam were the one, that, that the organisation actually that, that, that turned their back on premiums, freebies. And you can see here, here's what you won't find accompanying this letter. It's their opening line here. Mm. Address labels that guilt trip you, an expensive calendar that you don't need and we can't afford, invitations to black tie dinners or heart-rending photos that play on your emotions. It's almost like saying, we don't like fundraising. <laughs> Um, but we are going to send you a letter explaining that we don't like fundraising. Um, it's, it, it, it's slightly weird, particularly when you look at um, donor attitudes to um, premiums and freebies. Um, do people here do door drops and inserts? Is anyone here do door drop and insert fundraising? Um, one of the big problems you find in door drops and, and inserts is people who don't give you their name and address. And if you could get a name and address from everybody who responded to your um, door drop or your um, um, insert, um, we'd be really happy. This is a Bernardo's insert, and we did a very, very simple test on this. Um, we basically said, please remember to include your contact details so we can thank you by sending um, you some cards and let you know how your gift has helped. We doubled the number of addresses that we captured. It was simple. And it's a big, big jump. You know, anyone who do door drop and, um, and insert fundraising will know that you get a big chunk of people giving you no address, 30, 40%. Double that, and, and you're doing fantastically. And insert and door drop people are some of the best um, long-term donors that you can, you can gain. So we've offered them incentives, and they said, we love it so much, we're going to give you our name and address. Um, this is another. Uh, this is a, a, a product that Blue Frog developed for Whisper. Um, it's called Animal Protector. And it's an online device where we give people feedback on how their money is making a difference. But it's an ongoing story, um, rather than just one-off. We, we call it the EastEnders model. 
and we, get, we give people the opportunity on their website to personalize according to their favorite animal. So, you know, you, this is cow, but if you clicked on dog or bear, um, you get a different, a different animal. All your money goes unearmarked, but you give, them, you give people an opportunity to choose their favorite animal. When we signed people up to this, and we said, once you've chosen your favorite animal, you might like to choose one of these oyster cart holders. I, I noticed there's one in the, uh, in the bag they're giving away now or a key ring. 91% of people signed up said, I'd like one of those. And 6% of the people who we, um, who we signed up who were giving current DDs uplifted their DD. We, didn't, you know, we gave them the opportunity, they uplifted. People like information and materials like this in huge, huge numbers. So please, even though we're members of the IOF, don't necessarily say, I'm not doing premiums, I'm not doing, using premiums. If donors value it, I think it can be a very, very important part of our um, communication.